Hi, this is Danielle Zane here. I've got my new webcam and everything, it's all set up and everything. Well, first of all, I'm going to talk about, well, mention about, okay, last night I've had an, a, an experience uh, with um, extraterrestrials. I do not remember anything, um, unfortunately. However, um, what actually happened is I've actually experienced um, something. Um, first of all, um, I've got a friend. Um, I, I thought she would probably come round tonight, but uh, apparently she hasn't. And um, so, um, yeah, because I need to install some uh, AVG antivirus on her computer, which I managed to help her get back out of the um, cache in the flesh. Oh, what a story. Um, but um, anyway, um, she sometimes, last night she actually just checked up on my flat to see if it was okay. But she saw like sort of like flashing lights uh, coming out from my flat uh, behind the bushes. And um, one thing was pretty unusual the light would appear then disappear and appear and, and then suddenly a large um, light like a fire a ball of fire um, appeared outside my flat and um, she also mentioned something about four feet four five feet tall people walking around and I thought gee whiz you know um, it must be uh, extraterrestrial related, but I don't have any memory of it. And in an instant, I quickly looked at my leg, where I have my um, implant uh, in, and I saw that the um, it was it was healed, but there was a a drip as if I had shaved, a, a drip of dry like a line of dry blood where it had dripped up so obviously I had been standing and and this this happened um, because I had clothes on and all that and so because normally if you have clothes on the blood would seep into the clothes so obviously um, I must have stripped naked uh, out of my cat suit and and then it dried and then I went back to sleep but I was I was feeling so exhausted today um, so tired, as if I'd been up all night, and um, and I don't actually have any recollection or memory of what actually happened. But I then felt where the the implant was, and apparently it's gone, and um, I just don't know what to think of it because I think uh, well I. Uh, feel it was put in there by an Ananya, my uh, mixed terrestrial mother side of the, of the things and um, I'm a bit I'm a bit distressed from it um, that the, the implant given that was put in there by an Ananya is, is gone and it's like the I actually like, wanted to have it there because it was because you know I just I just feel now I feel like detached from her and um, she's like 400 light years away but the, the, the people that actually had been seen were like four or five feet tall and it's not a Nanya, Nanya type of people because they're like about seven feet tall and I just well, I'm, 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 I, well, I, I cried about it um, uh, today because I just feel like I just don't know if I'm gonna get another one if it's if, she, if she's gonna give me another one or what I don't know I don't know but um, yeah um, I've actually done a video of it on my iPod I actually got out of bed had a sh bath and I shaved over where it had been healed and obviously I, I cut it open again uh, because the skin that just is new and it's fresh and, and it still has a bit of a lump but um, yeah I'm just I'm just really upset um, because
because I feel like disconnected from her. I'm just a bit shocked tonight. Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to be doing some live art and all that. And um, yeah, I think that's all i got to say at the moment. Namaste. This is where it was, the implant. When I press on it, it's not sore. Normally that would feel like a thing inside, inside there. It's the scarf and I shaved over it this morning when I got out of bed. Still got a bit of a bump there, but um, the thing inside is gone. 